All right. Cool. So the stream should be start be started now, and we'll get started on the class. First, I'm gonna ex first. I want to make a special note. Please stick around to the very end because at 6 p.m. we are going to be raiding um, friend of the Discord and friend of uh, the stream, uh, Lord Spew, who is has a guest. Uh, I, for I forget who the guest is, but there's an animation director. There's a guest on his stream where he's going to do like an art duel or an art or animation duel with him. I think. Or something along those lines. Uh, last Sunday, he did he did something with the creator of Adventure Time, Pendleton Ward, on his stream, which was really fun. But um, so, uh, what we're doing right now for today is uh, it's going to take a half hour to explain a method that, from now on, all of you every day, every day, uh, do this before you draw. This is a, something I got. Oh, hang on one sec. Alexa, stop. Thank you. Um, this is something I got from Costa from Ethan Becker's Discord. He got it from um, Ahmed El Dori, the YouTuber, the art YouTuber, and uh, Cynix, the other uh, well-known art YouTuber slash streamer slash really a rad artist. Well, they're both they're both him and Ahmed are really fucking rad artists, of course. So um, what this is is it's a daily warm-ups that is a uh, focus on this. This is a workout for your shoulder. If the, uh, you want to, you know, you want to work on getting better doing it, but the main focus of doing this, remember this, is to give a workout to your shoulder, not to your elbow, not to your wrist. Hold your pencil loosely. Use your arm, use the full range of motion of your arm when you do these every day when you're warming up. That's very important. So, uh, in fact, everyone get ready. Everyone get ready to take either text or drawn notes. Let's, let's write these notes down together. Um, point, muscle, workout, swole, shoulder. That is the main point of doing this right now. We are trying to develop the dexterity that we need. To make the lines and the, get the kind of control we need to create the lines that we need. So, what are we doing? There's four main exercises here. Uh, one of them is, uh, and you spend okay. So you spend so you're going to be spending one hour a day doing all of these exercises. You split them up maybe into quarters. Maybe do like five minutes for one, ten minutes for another, twenty minutes for one of them. One hour warm up. Thirty minutes after you. Thirty minutes after at least one month. You shorten it to thirty minutes. Uh, about thirty minutes after, uh, or I warm up every day. I'm gonna warm up every day. So the point is, this is a one-hour warm-up every day. Or 30 minutes, uh, at least after uh, after a month, once you've gotten a good handle on it. For the newer people here, I would say that they would want to stick with doing this as an hour warm-up for longer than one month. But after you do the warm-ups, you can do whatever you want. After... Okay, so... After the... Warm ups. You can do whatever art you want or need to do, whether it be like homework commissions or studies you're trying to do or, or like Instagram art you're trying to make. I don't know experiments you're trying to do or just, just, just want to do free fun sketching after you get done with the warm-ups. So here are the exercises. One. Signature. 
So I don't know how many of you are like practicing cursive. Uh, you can use cursive for this, but I want you to develop. I want you to develop a signature that you can make in one line. And if it starts to like start looking like doctor's handwriting like this, that's fine. But the signature thing is you practice. You um, practice a single line of your signature over and over again focus on speeding up Doctors, squiggles are fine. They don't have to be, these don't have to be perfect. Uh, yeah. In fact, they should start looking more like Dr. Squiggles as you start doing more of them. Around, do these for around five minutes. Minutes. Or more, if you feel you want to you do it for more. So that's the first thing you do. That's the first exercise. Here's the second exercises of the exercises. Second of the exercise is organic C curves and S curves. So, what is an organic? C so, what is an organic? Uh, so, actually, this one. Focus. Uh, start. Uh, so, this one is about speed adjustment. But here, I'll, uh, I'll just, let me just explain. So, focus on drawing super fast out of the gate then slow down and on troll then speed up then slow down find your Sweet spots of different control degrees. So this is like kind of like a practicing your aim almost and practicing your, your energy and your control your dexterity so um beyond this like so here's the here's 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 a uh not organic c curve here's a not organic c curve that's too symmetrical we don't want this what does an organic c curve look like an organic c curve looks more like uh, it looks more like it's let's see here i gotta actually like an organic C curve is going to favor like one side or the other. Sample. Like that. This is inorganic. 
organic symmetry. You want to avoid symmetry with, with doing these. Organic, you want organic asymmetry. And if you get something that looks a little bit symmetrical, that's okay, just do another line. You don't have to erase it, just do another line and try to do it better the next time. Same thing, with, and here's a trick also, like when you're doing the C, when you, so the S curves, you want to avoid this. That's too, like, this is too symmetrical right here. What you want is like, something like this, or like this. You want to get, you want to get like really wild with them and stuff. But again, um, like you want to focus on speed and like control and like building up your control. Uh, it's a good to start with small, uh, small to big or vice versa for the, for the, for like the two curves here, the two apexes of the curve. Look for that apex. Apex of the curve as your kind of placement point. So the other thing is, and I drew a little illustration of this, the kind of um, speed of the drawing means the extreme of the turn or the swerve. Uh, your, uh, I'm just going to copy. Well, actually, I should demonstrate this. But this is um, this is essentially what I'm talking what I'm talking about right now. Like, uh, so the reason why you want speed control is speed control determines what kind of line you make. You, want, uh, you literally use this use the power of speed to uh, create more contained lines like this, like this. And then if you try speed, if you try drawing faster, 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 it gets more exaggerated, you see? But the, the point of doing this is to calibrate yourself to be able to um, control it however you want so you understand that you bend the lines more when you draw faster. So you want the ability to speed up and slow down and be conscious of that when you do that. So slow fast a little sanic on the end of there all about gaining the control you need um, I'm being conscious of that. That's the point of that exercise. So, C curves and uh, organic C curves and S curves in a speed control exercise. Control. This is a control exercise and a line flow exercise. You do these in single strokes when you're doing these lines, by the way. And as an example, uh, here's a page that Costa did. I have these little black things over the black lines over it are my draw overs to it. I just cross those out to ignore those. But this is an application of that. Like you see these, like he's using those organic lines here to construct this stuff. These are mostly organic lines right here that he's using. They aren't symmetrical. They they have like a bulge, a asymmetrical bulge to construct the shapes of them. So yeah and I, I also upload this this thing to chat. This thing's kind of a yeah there's like little things like that to show off this but yeah um so i'll move this out of the way so we can um continue with the next two exercises which are uh i'm gonna bring in a photograph to show an example right here so hollywood actually a noir headshot or hollywood 1940s hollywood headshot usually something with high contrast that has very easy to determine shadows in it. Like for example, I'm gonna bring in this this photo here that I just found. I actually practiced on this photo earlier for today's warm-ups. So what you do with this, here's the third, here's exercise number three. And I would say you could spend around like 10 minutes on this. I think 10 minutes would be a good time to spend on for this. But you lower opacity on it. Then you um, try to like outline in the shadow patterns a bit of the face. Whoops. Something like this. Uh, 
of the head and the face, or whatever. And then, when you do that, remember that thing where you're doing the doctor's signature? You do the same thing with this. You start, uh, you take it, hold on one second, I'm going to move it over to the side so I have, because I'm left-handed, so I need it to put it on the right side so I can see it. Um, now, mind you, you don't have to worry about whether these are good drawings at all. Like, they should, they should, you're not going to be doing them with a scaffold or anything. You're trying to just draw abstract shapes here. In fact, you should probably turn this off. That'll make things, here, I'll let me do that, actually. Here, I'll duplicate this so I can have this, and then we can have that as reference on screen. So, uh, what you do is you basically do, like, for about, like, 10 minutes or something like that, you do the doctor's signature thing. Uh, where you try to like follow along as best you can the the shape of the um, the abstract shape of the thing that you just drew a draw over of it, might, it does not have to be perfect it's going to be wonky and stuff just want you to do it over and over and over again it's going to come out like shit and that's fine and stuff but you do it you do it like over and over again over again. let me see if I can do a couple more so a few more. You're not going for perfect head drawings here. The point of this is to get your arm working stuff. These are going to come out looking like crap. Like poopy poopy crap. That's fine. But after about 10 minutes, you'll get into... Uh, after about 10 minutes of doing this, you'll get into a kind of a zen state with it. And you'll start to abstract the forms even more. So just be like really relentless about it, and give yourself permission to make them to draw them very, very badly. Uh, eventually, you're gonna eventually try to draw them better, but um, for now, this is all about getting your arm to work out. And um, so here, let me uh, move these here so they're in line up. But they should start looking like more abstract and a little stranger and stuff. The more you go into it, some at certain points they might start looking more accurate. Um, but don't worry about them being good drawings at all. That's not the point of the exercise. This is a warm-up exercise to get you moving your hand and your arm. Uh, specifically your arm. Let me line these up. So we'll make some notes about this exercise real quick, so we all remember. I'm gonna to try to make a. I'm gonna to try to keep this concise on a singular note sheet. Uh, how much time we got? Oh, we got plenty of time to finish this then, because the last exercise is the most fun one, and it's actually a really, really important learning, learning every day thing. I'll shut that off for now. I don't need that at the moment. So this is exercise number three. Three is find a clear eye contrast photo. Shadow abstraction. I'm gonna put shadow abstraction. That's the name of the exercise. So you all remember that. Find a clear high contrast photo. Draw a tracing of the shadow. Do the, uh, do the signature practice. Practice. But with the abstract 
shadows. Do not worry about accuracy or good drawings yet. At some point in the future we will be concerned about that, but not The point is a shoulder muscle workout. There you go. So I'm gonna maybe like, oh, so we got like this. Five men, minutes, we can. Five minutes of uh, will be roughly about the round time you'd spend for that. Um, I want to say about ten to. You could even go to like twenty minutes, depending on what you want to focus on for this warm-up session. Uh, same thing, ten to twenty minutes. Uh, honestly, you uh, you could probably like yeah, you could probably hyper focus on. You could even do like one of these for like thirty, one of these particular exercises for thirty minutes if you feel like you're getting good benefit from it, from it. But the reason why we do the different exercises is because they exercise different parts of what you're going to be like thinking about during the day. This exercise is a little bit of your observation skills. This exercise is your line control. This 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 breaks the uh, the the um, this like breaks the ice for you for not being too cons not being as concerned and self-conscious with your line. There. And that would that leads into number four. Um, master artist dying emulation. So this one's going to be about 10 to maybe even 30 minutes after you're getting warmed up. Uh, this one is find the rough sketches of a really skilled master artist that you want to em emulate. You could also use this potentially like if you are trying to adapt, for example, if you're professional trying to adapt to a production show style, you can do the same, you can use something like this to help you adapt to the way that they approach their drawing for the characters in that show. But, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to maybe resize some of the text here, because like it's a little bit kind of black with each other. Let's see if we can resize this, this group real quick. I'll worry about that later. Um, oh wait, no. Yeah, that's, that, that should be good. There's this stuff over here that was on the side, yeah. Okay, I'll just pull that out then. Let's just resize this real quick so I give myself enough room to write the rest of this. There we go, that's good. Alright, find the rough sketches of a really skilled master artist that you want to emulate. Um, ideally, stick with the same artist 
for a while. So their approach sinks in. But you can vary it, but you can vary it if you like. But you can vary it for fun if you like. You get a chance to play here if you want. You can if you're really trying to like learn in depth like how a particular art like for, for example I've been sticking with Yo-Yo Shinari for the first two days I've been doing this. So um uh, so I've been sticking to Yo-Yo Shinari for the first two days I've been doing this, so I'm trying to mainly learn from him because I want to kind of pull some of how he approaches figures into how I animate. So I'm sticking with him for now, but you can you can vary this up here. Let me actually put this in here. It's the class demos folder. My save folder here. What is the date today? Okay, let's see. No, today's the 421, actually. 21, 2021, last demos, uh, last, uh, warm up method, there we go, put that in there, okay, cool, we got that saved, that'll, this, the, the file of this will be up on my Patreon, although I am going to, like, share this image after, after chat, after, um, chat and post it in my Discord as well. Um, so, uh, as far as land emulation, you have to stick with the same arts for a while so the approach sinks in. Um, try to construct how they do and learn a few new things every time. Ah. This adds up over time. This is like, I've, heard, I've used this expression that Richard Williams has uh, used on the stream. Uh, he's used in his uh, lectures before of um, this proverb about a, um, a man who is filling a leap a lake with yogurt once one spoonful at, at a time, and people ask him like, "Why are you filling a lake with the with the yogurt one spoonful at a time?" And he says, yeah, that, that, it may, "That'll take forever." And then he says, "I know, but in in several years, imagine how awesome it would be if we had a lake full of yogurt." I mean, granted, like, the yogurt will probably spoil, but in, for the purposes of the story, I assume it's, like, magic yogurt that doesn't spoil, and it would taste really good when you have a lake, lake full of yogurt after years of spoonfulling. This is your spoonful a day for your warm-ups and stuff. This gives you a kind of a whole meal warm-up. This lets you break the ice uh, in your drawing when you start during the day. So lets you practice the tools of the tools of drawing organic C curves and S curves and practice your speed control right here. This um let this lets you practice observation and abstraction skills very quickly. Uh and this lets you uh this lets you uh learn a few tidbits from an artist you like. Or a master artist you want to emulate. Uh, artists that I could recommend that I would look at is like any of the, uh, any of the really good artists at Studio Mir. Um, Ethan Becker actually cites several artists in a lot of his videos that he likes, like Shiyun Kim and, um, uh, and like the artists that like a lot of artists like him look up to. Uh, a lot of the Studio Mir folks and so on. Um, uh, Costa has been trying to do this with Kim Jung Gi lately. Um, there's uh, it, it, it's it's up to you. Like you could you could emulate more Western, more Eastern artists stuff. It depends what you want to do. Like what what do you what kind of artists do you want to start looking more like? Because if you start if you start doing this, your work is going to start looking like that artist, which is fine. That's that becomes a building block starting point, and then you can probably you can 
move to another artist when you start getting a better sense of how they draw and then you can integrate some another artist that you like uh, a bit of a little bit of another artist's influence that you like uh, so you don't become a copy and it's fine it's fine to become a it's trying to be a copy at first as long as you're able to you know build it out but uh, but in any case remember the focus of this is a muscle is a muscle workout for the shoulder so when you're drawing When you're drawing, I'm going to draw like a little shitty stick figure here. When you're drawing, you want like a good, you want like a little tilt into your drawing space. You want Tilt. You want full range of motion, range of motion for your arms. That means if you have armrests on your chair, if there's any way to remove them, take those off. You're not you don't you don't want to chair with armrests if you're an artist. You want the full range of motion of both your arms, or not just because uh, you want the full range of motion of your drawing arm. But you want it for the other hand that you're going to be using for shortcuts, either shortcuts on your monitors, on your monitor right here, on your keyboard. I have a keyboard in my lap actually that I that I use. So uh, so taking the take the arm rest off taking the arm rest off your arm, off, off my arms was a good idea for me, so that I'm not like stodgy in there, and um, and also when you're using your mouse. So. Work out your shoulder. Draw with this. Avoid drawing with this. That's the elbow. Do not, this is a big no-yo, although sometimes you will occasionally find yourself drawing with the wrist, I'm not going to kill you for it, but avoid, it to, like, uh, super avoid, avoid drawing with this. If you're doing it right, If you're doing it right, then you are doing it right after a while you will feel it in your Shoulder. Shoulder blade. Shoulder and shoulder blade. Also remember to stretch. Remember to stretch your
There we go. Cool. Little notes. But yeah, like, um... Uh, remember, but yeah, remember, this is a draw from... Oh. And try to, try to adjust your angle so you're sitting with good posture in front of your drawing space, where your, your arm doesn't feel super fatigued, that you're working out the right, pushing your, pushing your arm, uh, hold the pencil, like, don't press down, don't press down and really, like, um, tensely, don't, don't press down and rip hard. That's bad. So that, that makes you use your wrist. Like that. Hold the pencil light. Hold the drawing device light. Whether it's digital or non-digital. Hold the drawing pencil light. Light and deuce. Best and little deuce. Light. Hmm. Deuce. So I'm going to call this method uh, the. I'm going to call some of this the fist and bootlebiss method. So the fist in bootlebiss. It's from Captain Beefheart. Uh, I'm not going to play that on stream, but there's a non sequitur on one of his albums. Where they say a really, really weird little speech, speech poem before leading into one of the songs called, called Fast and Bulbous. And there's even an outtake on the album that they include of the of the bit, along with the original bit. Let's see if I can. Uh, so here's a YouTube video of it. I can, I'm not going to play the audio on stream. Somebody did like a little doodle thing of it, of the bit. But I will add that to. Twitch chat and uh, Discord chat. So this is just a fun, fun, silly way to remember this method and keep it in your head. Uh, we're going to call this the Fast and Bilbis warm ups. The Fast and Bilbis. Remember, light and loose, Fast and Bilbis. Fast and Bilbis. This is uh, specifically the Fast and Bilbis, is actually more the, the organic secrets and F curves things. Um, remember you start you start fast. Like the the signature is to speed is to get you to speed up. And then um, you, you start like speeding up and stuff. And then when you're good and sped up from that, then you jump into this and you focus on drawing super fast, super fast out of the gate. Then work on control. Then speed up. Then slow down. Find your sweet spot. Sweet, sweet spots, because there's multiple sweet spots for like the different kinds of lines you want to make. Stuff. So. What time is it? Oh, it is six. I'm gonna see if Lord Spew is streaming right now. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I think that I think I covered everything. If anyone has any questions, please ask them now. I'm gonna check to see if Lord Spew is streaming. If he is, we're gonna totally raid him. He is not streaming right now. Uh, but we'll so then we have time for some questions. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check my notes to make sure if I, I didn't miss anything. But ask questions, please. You can ask them in voice or in Twitch text or Discord drawing corner text. We have a very nice turnout tonight. Oh yeah, uh, make sure everyone get get in, everyone get into the Twitch chat so we can all raid Lord's Pew, by the way. And that goes up. Uh, I'll do an easy link in Discord. So anyway, uh, don't we're going to be continually evolving this. The, uh, as I get feedback from Costa and other folks on this, uh, we'll also be adding more to it. I'm going to make sure that I have this uploaded to YouTube um, as soon as I'm able to. I'm going to upload this after I end the stream. Can we alternate between traditional and traditional? Yes. 
fact, if you are less experienced in traditional, uh, uh, in uh, I would and you were, I would say do the lion's share of these with uh, with traditional. You can also use this if you're if you are if you're a pretty reasonably decent draftsman to begin with, and you are trying to learn a new piece of software. Um, doing this every day in that particular thing, you're trying to get a better grip on a particular on a, on a particular brush, or on a particular um, or on a particular tool, or on a particular program. You can use this to start to get used to how that program handles more. Like I'm planning on using this when I get more into Blender. To get used to the used to the grease pencil. Uh, so let's see here. Save this. Save a duplicate PNG. It'd be a giant fucking PNG. Uh, let's put that in here. Class demos. Let's put that in there. Keep it nice and organized. Don't know if I should have it like at the pool. Have it at like a, it's a 6K. It's a giant 6K image. What I, what I just made. By the way, so I'm gonna maybe make a um, say let's save a duplicate of this. Say one B. This one will be like the small little itty bitty boy one version. I'll upload this one to. Um... These are uh, these are the videos that determine <laughs> whether or not I actually deserve to have people watch me or not. I'm Whoa. only kind of joking. What's going on, guys? How are you doing? I'm sure you're wondering why I gathered you all here today. What the? F Actually, oh, whoops! Probably not because you clicked on the video and you know exactly what this. What the is. fuck? Let me just start off by saying here one if second. You can't figure out how to get your microphone to sound good. Uh, you're not stupid. All right, audio is hard. It's not like a camera where you can just you know look at the image and, um, and say, oh, it's too bright. Let's I think Rhythmbot got a little confused. It's just this invisible thing. And sometimes it just sounds bad. Look at that. That was Rhythmbot. <laughs> that was Rhythmbot. Rhythmbot, like, got confused and put a YouTube video instead of the fucking stream beats. I hate when it does that. It's so annoying. I hope, hope we don't get boinked. Uh, and I have to strip that out because of the audio file. If it, do, if it does, then we'll... <laughs> that's, oh, my God. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, I, the, I'm never going to... I'm never going to... I'm never going to use stream beats on Rhythmbot again. Because that... That, that fucking sucks. Um, I might use like their Stream Beats radio or something though. That's like royalty free though. So let's see here. It looks like yeah, Lord, Lord Spew is going to be starting. Uh, let's let's raid him. Um, let's raid him after um his stream starts when he's officially live because then he can respond. He can like say hi to everyone when we when we pop in. So everyone get into everyone. Make sure you get into the um the uh. Uh, also, if you have more questions about this, feel free to either DM me or bring them up in the ch in like the channels. I would say that like the Drew, I would say that the Art General channel would be a good spot for. It. Um, actually, let me um. Uh, daily warm ups and hands. So the daily hand section. I'm changing the title of it to. Uh. Warm ups and hands. I'm changing the title of the daily hands section to warm ups and hands. This will be now if you want to post. Actually, not. This is. I, I like the idea that there's a hand focus. To, let's keep. Let's keep it daily hands. Daily hands. But stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to add a um a section here that will be like focused on the exercises that we're doing for now just like talk post and talk about you can post and talk about them in art general or art feedback or um and or like you can ask questions about them in general questions or general chat really but uh but yeah so here uh real quick i'm gonna upload i'm gonna make sure i upload this before lord's pew starts okay like restart resize the image James resolution, so it's not insane. Let's put it at about 2500k. That should be okay. Let me just check to see. Is it red legible? Barely, I guess. Whoops. I fucked that up, didn't I? I, I shouldn't have this on the screen. Fuck.
Here, one second. I'm going to make sure I save this right. All right, and uh, change the image resolution to 2.5K. Remember to stick around, folks. We are going to be raiding very shortly. I just want to make sure I have this uh, uploaded for people. Or... Uh, for the Discord, folks. So I'm putting that up in the drawing corner chat currently. I'll put that up there. I'll also put this up uh, again later when I make a new channel just for this. And I'll make an announcement about that new channel later. So there you go. Uploading it to chat right now. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to raid Lord's View. And those of you who are in my who are in my channel right now, who are not in my Discord, uh, in my Twitch channel, there's the Discord link in the Twitch chat uh, um, right now. And YouTubers should YouTube viewers should be able to get the invite link to my Discord uh, from my uh, YouTube comments, uh, my YouTube uh, video description. So we're going to raid Lord's Pew now. So let's see, raid. Lord underscore spew. Everyone get ready. This is the dude we're raiding. Also, he makes all of his channel art himself. This is all by everything you see on his channel is by him because he is a professional animator. He's worked on stuff like Midnight, uh, Midnight Gospel and uh, lots of other cool stuff. We got 27 people on. There's about 30 viewers currently, so three more people. I'll give it about under like 30 seconds or so. Uh, but yeah, so, to sign on to raid if you have not. All right, cool. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'll see you guys over in Lord Spew's channel. Here we go. Three. Two, one, bye.